Hey, my name is Dan. Welcome to my shop. It's really good to see you here today. But i uh, got a little side project. I just wanted to make a quick video to answer a question that I get a lot in the comments. And the question regards these ribs that I cut out for the Ryan's wings. Just so happens I needed to cut a few extra ones for a side project that I'm going to be doing here. But uh, what I wanted to show you was this. The question is these little slots where the 3 8 spar goes. Well, I wanted to show you exactly how to cut those out. Turns out it's an old trick that I learned back in sixth grade shop from Mr. Foote at uh, Mead Elementary. No, it was Mead Middle School in Spokane, Washington. So if you're still out there somewhere, sir, I thank you because this one has really helped me through many of the years. We used to use coping saws back then. You know what a coping saw is? Same kind of saw blade that we use on a scroll saw, a little skinny thing like that, but by hand back back before I was allowed to use power tools. So anyways, today I'm going to show you exactly how to clean out these slots. We'll go ahead and do the uh, 3 8 ones as well as the 1 quarter ones on here. Same exact method on each one. Here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over this real quick here. This is the slot itself. And uh, what we're going to do is a series of cuts to get it cleaned out. Now the way that this works is we start at the upper corner on this one here. And we'll work to the lower corner here. Now this doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line because the main thing is is we're going to be digging this out. So let's go ahead and I'll get that first step done right now. Okay, so as you can see, we got the first cut done from the upper top of the uh, where the where the uh, spar is going to sit in this slot. Now the next cut we're going to make is we're going to come down this side here on the existing cut down line mark that we've already drawn there. So we'll just simply take the blade and follow that down to that corner, and this whole triangle is going to drop out. All right, there you go. So at this point, we've got roughly half of the job done. So the next part we will take is we'll do this. We'll go ahead and make a cut. It will come from right about here, right down into that corner. Okay, so we've got that cut in there. Next one we'll do is we'll come from the top of this rib, or the top of the rib, uh, following this line down here that we've already drawn on. We'll go ahead and follow that one. Alright, so we're left with this little hump down in the bottom here, the lower half of that X that we cut out. So the next thing that I usually like to do is I will go ahead and bring the saw blade down into there while it's in motion, and I'll just physically turn it so that it actually starts to peel away into this uh, notch of uh, this bump that's left here. Uh, I'll just carefully do that and just, you, you know, you don't have to hurry it. You just kind of take your time and you want to make sure that you do not drive down into that lower line that you've got down on the bottom there. So I'll go ahead and just kind of finesse it so that I burn up that, uh, that bump with the turn of the saw. And then once that's done, I could just make a straight across line that will follow the bottom right to, uh, to clean out the entire slot nice and clean. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Once 
go ahead and stop right there to show you what's happened. So as you can see, I'm starting to kind of eat away at that um, that bump there on the bottom. And I've almost got the blade to the point where I can run straight along that line right across the bottom of the slot. And that is how we do it. Now, oftentimes I'll take a file while the grouping is all still. This is three ribs here. Previously, I think I did like 10 ribs in a row, or maybe it was, uh, yeah, I think it was two groups of 10. Anyways, what I'll do is I will take like a nice fine file and just kind of tighten up the, you can see there's still some crud down in the corner down here, uh, but you can file them and make them all nice and smooth that way. Uh, that's usually the next step. Tell you what, let's go ahead and cut out the bottom one here. I'll uh, basically follow the same way I did it. But I, you use that same X pattern on all the uh, one quarters as well. It's just a little bit smaller in size to work with. The nice thing about the blade as it's operating up and down is you can just kind of tap it on wood and it will slowly start to eat away pieces. So, you you know, it's not like a circular saw where everything's got to be a straight line and it's got to be perfect. There's a lot of dancing you can do with this uh, blade to make things work much nicer. And you just kind of take a little bit at a time. It just takes some finesse and skill, stuff that you learn over time. But, you know, just take your time with it. You don't have to hurry through this and uh, you'll do very well. So let's go ahead and get on the next one here. I'll go ahead and uh, draw up the X for the next one here. I'm going to try a little different method on this one and see if it works any better. All right, so on this one here, I did a little bit more of a, well, I, instead of it being a perfectly straight line, I put a little bit of a curve into it. I'm going to see if I could tuck the blade back in there and just make that sweep across there and make it a little bit, uh, make it a nice quick turn on there faster. A little bit of finessing the blade there. Yeah, that seemed to do a pretty nice job. You can see that one there is pretty well completed that way. Um, yeah, a little bit of cleanup there. I'll probably just run the blade back this way just to clean up that. You can see that area. It's kind of poking up right here. Uh, but other than that, that's about how to do it. Look at that, a little bit of side blade action. Cleaned off that whole section just by dragging the moving blade across the bottom. Across the bottom. I didn't know if you could hear me with the sewing machine running in the background there. But uh, anyways... That's pretty much it. Um, I'll do a quick one here.
There's one of the one quarters all cleaned out. And I kind of did it using that, you know, the, I think you really can cheat with a with a scroll saw blade because it's just, you know, it, it's kind of something that you can turn and actually rip sideways with it just as well as cutting through it. So that's how I'm going to finish out the rest of these. I've got two in the back here to do and one more up in the front. And then and that is it. I just wanted to get that question answered for you. I was like going to try to type it all out and everything. And I thought, you know what? It'd be just as easy to make a quick video and just show how to do it. And uh, it, once again, like I said, it was something I learned in sixth grade shop class. And all we had back then was coping saws, vices, and a big honking table and wood. That was it. So the good old days. But anyways, um, that's, that's it for today. Hope you're having a great day and I hope you're building something.